Good morning folks and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be part four of the Winter Wanderings. A short series of videos that I'm putting out, trying to encourage all you guys and gals of course to get out on your bike in the colder months and experience what the UK has to offer. Uh, so the weather's a lot better than the previous episode of this and um, today I'm out in uh, Lancashire area that general neck of the woods I haven't brought my sat nav with me so it's like the blind leading the blind I'm just going to try and head in the general direction um, of uh, Kirby Longsdale which I've no idea how far that is from here but uh, I'm currently just in the area or heading towards Bentham which I think is, is still in uh, Lancashire area uh, lovely day, sun's trying to force its way out not succeeding too well but at least it's not raining so let's just see where this route takes me and I'll come back to you shortly let's just enjoy the route and the countryside Yeah, I've got about 100 miles of fuel left in the bike so that should be more than sufficient for me to do this little route and also uh, to get back home with so I'm not going to have any fuel anxiety issues which is just as well because I don't think there's any petrol stations out here only farms they'll have plenty of diesel at the farms but my bike doesn't run on diesel Yes, I hope everybody's had a good Christmas anyway, not stuffed themselves too full. Uh, so full that they can't get out on the bike and have some fun. It'd be interesting to see if anybody managed to get out on either Christmas Day or Boxing Day for a ride. Either with the partner or on their own, if the partners have let them go out just for a little bit of a uh, release of steam. And get out and enjoy themselves ride. If they have, again, always leave a comment down below. Always like to hear about things like that. I'm heading into some clouds a little bit over there. I head into my left. Hopefully they won't open up on me. I have a funny feeling I have been on this road before but I think the last time I rode it I came in from the other side uh, into the uh, town which is behind me which is Sladeburn and I think you go through some quite uh, intense moorland up here if my memory serves me right some nice steep hills What have we got here? We have a truck. Yeah, you've got to watch out for these uh, locals here in the farm vehicles, wagons and so on. Cattle grid. Alright, so we've got a few more sheep here. I thought we would have. No, they're not too skittish, are they? So, just heading down into this little valley. Uh, 
a bit more overcast here. Temperatures just dropped a tad. And back over another cattle grid. Yeah, I've definitely enjoyed doing these little winter wandering videos. It certainly encourages me to get out on the bike. I might not necessarily do so otherwise. Sometimes you just need a bit of a push, don't you? A bit of motivation to get out. But I always enjoy myself once I'm out on the bike. It's just the initial push to get myself out the front door. And I hope it's inspired one or two riders who watch my videos as well to do exactly the same. Just to go out and have a bit of fun on the bike during the winter months but without obviously putting themselves at risk. All right, here we go. This is what I was talking about. These big hills and the moorland. So plenty of fuel. So like I said, that's not going to be an issue. bubbling brook there. Right, let's start climbing this hill. Give it some gas. I can see some sheep up ahead on this uh, right hand corner higher up. So just keep an eye out for them. Ease it off a tad. No problems. A few more up here. we go again. Yeah, I think the last time I did this could have even been last year when I did this route. It's a lovely little route. Very quiet. It's probably just locals that use it really. stream down there.
definitely getting a bit bleak now. I'm losing a bit of light as well. So almost as far as the eye can see, just moorland, nothing but moorland. I think sometimes it's better travelling on routes like this without a sat nav, especially if you're not a million miles from home. You're never going to get lost on here. But it can be a bit of a distraction. I'm just going basically where the road takes me. No other guidance than that. sheep up there again. They seem to come in fits and starts don't they? A nice little uh, stream down there. Right, see if I can just get a photograph here. A few more bikers enjoying it, and why not? Right, what did I do with my camera? You know what really pisses me off? Things like this. Why do people have to throw shit like this into the countryside? Somebody's obviously been here, had a picnic or something stupid, and then decided just to dump everything. And I'll take that and find a bin for it. The thing is though, if your sheep and stuff like that start eating crap like plastic bags, they're gonna potentially die, aren't they? So I'll put that in there. and find a bin for that later. <laughs> Bike's looking nice and grubby. And quite rightly so. There's a plastic bag here, plastic bottle here as well. Let's get rid of this. And I'm going to be collecting half of the rubbish on the moor shortly. Right. 
Right, I'm running out of room in my rucksack now for rubbish, so hopefully I won't find any more. Let's carry on. I always make a point, either bring it back home with me or find a local bin to wherever I might be and get rid of it there. Certainly don't just chuck stuff into the countryside or anywhere else for that matter. Makes my blood boil! There's plenty of cattle grids on here. Straight on for Bentham. there with its woolly jacket on. What's this construction here, this shed? Crowsdale Lodge, wherever that is, take a right. It's probably a shooting lodge or gamekeeper's lodge or something. I can just imagine coming over here in a hailstorm or in sleet or a bit of snow. It would be treacherous. What have we got? Straight on still. So I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but that rock up ahead there, you can actually walk up it and stand on top. I don't know if I'll have a go. I haven't got exactly got the right boots on for it, but uh, let's just have a look. Take my wallet with me. Not too fussed about my phone. If somebody wants to nick it, they're welcome to it. It's about 100 years old. Here, yeah, so Bentham, blessed with rich soils deposited by the wenning and well watered by the rain, brought in on the prevailing westerly winds, lies at the crossroads of a fascinating landscape. So yeah, if you want to read all that folks, just pause your screen and uh, have a yeah, little perusal over it. Right, let's have a, a wander up here. It's further away than it looks, is this? It's hard work walking in city adventure boots 
on wet, soggy, boggy moorland. <laughs> so, a massive great big boulder and it's got some steps carved into it here which you can climb up should I dare do it in my boots I would suggest possibly not but like an idiot I'm doing it what the hell What a view! I've got to get down yet without killing myself. They're so badly worn of these steps. These aren't too bad down here. I'll still carry on going down. Could have come down these like a hundred. Right. What a wuss. Yeah, that was hard work. Right, back to the bike. Let me just make sure I've still got my bike key. Which I have. And my wallet. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't recommend folks going up there in bike boots. Not a very smart move. Is the phone still here? Let's have a look. What a surprise. Old Android phone. Nobody's going to touch it. All right, let's go. So that route is part of the Forest of Boland, but obviously the Forest of Boland is quite a large area, but that's just one little section of it. Alright, High Bentham. I came through here the other week, but not from this direction. So High Bentham takes you into Low Bentham. And then from Low Bentham you can go down towards Ray, W-R-A-Y, and a place called Wennington, and then eventually down towards the A65, which is the general direction I'm heading in. Okay, so Lancaster left, Skipton right. Let's take a right. Some nice photographs in there. Well, that mountain over there to my left looks like Penny Ghent, but that's it. Uh, Ribble head. Well, oh, it's actually settled, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a very similar shape to uh, Penny Ghent.
It is nice having the quick shifter on this bike. Makes life very easy, changing gear up and down. And there, just a quick change from sixth to fifth. Smoothless, seamless. And down into fourth. And power it on. And back up to fifth. And sixth. And just ease off a bit here because it's sheep. So what does that say? The Oliver Farm. The as in T H. Tolliver. To. Tolliver. That's what it is, isn't it? Not the Oliver. Tolliver. What have we got here? Clapham Station and Sladeburn. Clap them this way one mile. Let's carry on. I see where I am now. So this has brought me back out onto the A65. So I may just have a little ride in to settle. So that's a right turn in here. Maybe get a drink there, a bit of soup or something, before I head off home. Although, no, no, I'll go into settle. I don't often come in to settle this way. I normally carry on on the A65, then get to roundabout and take a left and go in that way. This is definitely a more scenic entry into it. I wonder if this is the route where all the speed cameras are. North Yorkshire Police is finest. Quite often set up little mobile speed cameras on here. I'm sure it's on this stretch of road, but quite close to the end as you're coming into uh, Settle, where it drops down, I think, from uh, a 40 into a 30. Giggleswick. Some very strange names for towns. Ah, here we go. The, the town of Settle. So this is a very popular place for bikers. Not sure if there'll be anybody there today, but we shall discover when we arrive in a few moments. So yeah, left there towards uh, Ribblehead Viaduct, where I put a video out a few weeks ago, when I managed to get down to the viaduct. That's a nice route. In fact, I think it's just on that bit there, where the uh, mobile speed cameras are often situated by North York's. Right, there's a cafe up here called the Naked Man Cafe. Don't worry, I'm not going to get naked, but I might just stop there and have a bite to eat, or certainly a bit of soup. Can I get through there? No, but I can get through here. Yeah, I can get in there, can't I? Huh. 
and I shall park it here. That'll do nicely. Right, well, I think I'll wrap the video up here, folks. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I've probably done 30 miles or something, maybe 35 miles from uh, Sladeburn, from where the video started. Uh, it's a nice little route, so that's just basically, I just went Sladeburn, uh, out towards Bentham, High Bentham it was, wasn't it? then into Bentham, and then just followed the road round towards Clapham, uh, and then uh, continued on to the A65, back towards Skipton on the A65, and then left towards Settle, and then here we are. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have by all means I'd appreciate it, again if you could leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, and if you haven't already subscribed, get subscribed, that's much appreciated, and then hit the notification bell as well. Right folks, I'll catch up with you again on the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Ta-da for now.